Tell me what you say now Tell me what you say, come again If you cannot stay down Then you do not have to pretend Like there is no way out Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Bray, and in this video, we're going to do a quick little get ready with me on this look. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm pretty sure I said it already, but I am getting ready to go out on a date. And um, it's date night, so I decided to do my makeup. I already did my eyeshadow. It wasn't nothing crazy. I just did brown eyeshadow. And I just sweeped it across my lid. Um, I used to do my makeup all the time. My eyeshadow all the time. And I literally stopped. And now I think that I don't remember how to do it. So <laughs> every time I start blending, I always get nervous. So until I conquer that again, y'all will not be getting a new video on how to do eyeshadow. So, um, my sister and my niece is here. They came to hang out with me today, which was like a complete waste of time. They're out there in the living room. I literally just kicked them out because I asked my sister, I'm like, hey, do you want to interview me while I put on my makeup? And of course she was like, no. So, tell me, how was everyone's Valentine's Day? Um, was it good? Did you guys do anything fun? Um, did you have a Galentine's Day? Did you just focus on yourself? Which is obviously one of the best things that you can ever do for yourself. Just know that a partner does not define you. And if you are alone, that's okay. And that, you know, you were probably alone for a reason. It's better to be alone than to be with someone out of the sake of not wanting to be alone. It's better to just say, like, you know, be alone. Get to know yourself. You know what I mean? Get to know what you really wanted out of life. Like, like I'm just at where I just really know what I want for myself and what I expect in a partner. And it took me being alone for a while to actually know that. Because I think sometimes we date out of the sake of not being alone or just saying that we have someone. And it's like, sometimes being with the wrong person, you end up feeling alone anyway, you know? So, I hope that you guys keep stuff like that in mind. So, don't feel bad if you are alone, you know? Because it's not worth it. It's not worth having someone that doesn't treat you correctly. I'm going by really fast because I have to go soon. But, um, I don't like to be late. I like to be punctual because I expect people to be on time. Especially, like, when it's like a date. You don't want to be waiting on anybody. You don't want anybody waiting on you. You want to get in and get out. I just don't like people waiting on me. Because I feel like it's rude. I feel like I like it to be a situation where if I am late, um, people are okay with it. Not that you should be okay with it, but they're not as bothered simply because it's not the norm. It's not my usual. You know, guys, I feel like as people, we have to, like, really treat people how we want to be treated. I know that's, like, the golden rule that everybody talks about, but I don't think that people really abide by that rule. Like, I think that people run amok and run a full free-for-all and think that it's all fun and games until it's their turn and until people pull... A them on them you know a you on you and I think that people you know we gotta not be selfish and I feel like to to get friends we have to learn how to be friends friends like I was literally watching this girl's video the lady was just talking about how if she was just saying that you know at that point at this stage in her life that she's not 
that she's not going to be basically not she's not a team player like if it's your your birthday and you want her to wear a certain color she's not having it and i think that is so wrong and one of the first videos on tiktok that i ever went viral on was me talking about how i'm not doing any birthday stuff for anyone because you know i wasn't getting it in return obviously i was like i got rid of those people in my life you know i was going going through like you know, the growing pains of just, you know, trying to hold on to something that was no longer there. Like, I was trying to hold on to friends that weren't friends to me. I would, you can, you, you can have friends and you could be friends with, to them, but they're not friends to you. And I had to learn that. And, you know, I didn't see it right away. And sometimes when you're in something, it's literally so hard for you to see it. And sometimes other people might tell you about it and you're just like, yeah, whatever. But, like, you know. And I feel like if you're ever not sure about something, someone like, you should just take a step back for a moment. You know, it's sometimes it's manipulative when people do that. They take a step back because they want to see who's really going to chase them. But sometimes you need to take a step back for clarity. And at that moment, you need to see. Yeah, you know, you got to take a step back clarity sometimes just to figure out what direction you want to go just to figure out if it's even worth salvaging you know and that's with any relationship family friends you know boyfriend or girlfriend i just feel like we life is short and it shouldn't be spent on happy it shouldn't be spent on people who are selfish you know what I mean like you shouldn't waste time on people who are selfish who you're literally giving them your all like you would literally give them a, a goddamn kidney if they needed it and you're just finding out that they're selfish like to me like a birthday special like you are celebrating the fact that I have life that I have air in my lungs that it's once a year like, you are celebrating the fact that this is the day that I was born. And if it wasn't for this day, we wouldn't even, you wouldn't even know me. Like, if it wasn't for this day, your life wouldn't, you wouldn't have me. Like, you know what I mean? Like, and we're friends. And, you know, there's plenty of times where sometimes your friends just can't make it for financial reasons. Or, you know, as adults, like, we get it. But, like... If beforehand, because she had no reason as to why she felt the way she felt. But, you know, she just said it and threw it out there. And I think that, like, she thought that she was going to get a different response from the one that she got. But people were so confused. And it was just like, oh, like, you're just a bad friend. Like, you're just a selfish ass friend. Because if your friend asks you to wear brown, like, I see plenty of girls do it, you know. And I wanted to do something like that. And maybe I might do that something like that for the future. But it's called a fucking theme. If you go to somebody's wedding and you're in the bridal party and you have to wear green, you're going to wear green. I just feel like if your friend asks you to do something on one day, like, you know what I mean? It's one day. It's 365 days out of the year. The fact that we have people out here making other people special day about them is like mind blowing to me. Like, did I go crazy on the molds? Yeah, but I don't care. It's different if it's financial and you can't afford it. Having a dinner and I'm asking you, let's be color coordinated because that's the things that I care about on my special day. And I would like my pictures to look in sync and nice, you know? Just my vision for my day, for my 24 hours. And you can't oblige? It's the mere fact that she saw nothing wrong with the problem. <laughs> that The funniest part is that she didn't read the room. That I think that she literally expected people to agree with her. And everybody was like, mm, yeah. Like, you run me. And it's just like, like, you, you know, I keep telling people, people want friends and don't know how to be one. I think that's the worst part. Like, y'all don't know how to be one. Like, these friends just be so one-sided. That's why... I'm good off of it, like, I'm done, you know, if I meet somebody, like, as far as friends, and, like, 
we cool and we happy then it's like it's cool but you know we vibe and we get along you know because i like to laugh i'm silly like i i like to laugh but like i'm good with my friend like i'm always with dominique I'm not always with her. I'm, I lie. I always, that's my, that's my friend. Like, if I go away, I go away with her. Like, that's who I'm hanging with. That's who I'm chilling with. That's who I'm happy being around. I don't need to be around anybody else. You know what I mean? I don't need to, I don't need a, a, a whole shebang. I, you know what I'm saying? I don't need signals being caught, crossed. Sometimes, you know, I just feel like sometimes... I admire the people who actually do have girl groups and they work, but that's them and they have a good, they figured out whatever they need to figure out so that it works. Also, like, you know, people are just mentally mature, but not everyone is like that. Not everyone is mentally mature and that's where the signals get crossed and that's where problems start to happen because selfishness like that, you're talking about leave you out of it. What you mean? You my friend. I love you. Oh my day, I want to celebrate with you. I want to laugh with you. I want to make memories with you. And you out here telling me, leave you out of it? That is so weird to me. I, I just I just don't understand that behavior. And maybe I don't understand that behavior simply because of the type of person I am. But it's weird. It's just like, that don't have nothing to do with me. Why people treated me the way they treated me. But what did have something to do with me? It's the fact that I allowed it. Time and time again. People say, oh, I'm sorry. Blah, blah, blah. Acting like they fuck with me. And they really don't because their actions literally say it all. Their actions literally say it all. And you sitting there forgiving, forgiving, forgiving. Like, you, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing yourself a disservice. Highly. you letting people violate you. And you accepting it. Like, and you know what the crazy part about it all is? Is that if a man was doing this to, like, one of your friends or, you know, or someone you kid, you'd be like, man, leave that man alone. You better than him. But for some reason, we sit there and we give the friends, like, the benefit of the doubt. People be saying, oh... People be cutting their friends off, but not for a man. I don't know. I feel like certain stuff like that do happen, but at the same time, I be asking, like, what y'all be doing to these friends while these friends always cutting y'all off? Because y'all probably not good friends. You know, I could, I could, you know, we can always be better in certain areas. I'm pretty sure, like, there's places where I can be better in my friendships, you know. I had to work on patience. There's plenty of times when Dominique was like, yo, like you literally don't have patience. And I don't. And I had to own that. And we were always bicker about the same thing. And it was like, yo, she's saying this to me over and over again. Like, it has to be something behind it. I'm clearly doing something that she doesn't like. Like, hello, Brittany. Like, what's not clicking? Like, fix it. Have more patience. Think before you speak. Like, you know? And I had to learn how to do that. And it made our friendship so much better because I would literally breathe like I would literally breathe before I speak and it got to a point where she was like what are you doing because she felt like I was being condescending because I would literally um I was like thinking about my response before I responded like literally like okay I don't want to say anything to offend her I don't want to piss her off by feeling like you know I don't have patience so I would literally sit there and think like okay what would you like to do? Like, like speak like that. And then she felt like I was being condescending. Whole time, I'm just controlling the way how I answer, how I respond so that I don't offend her. You know what I mean? I think sometimes as friends that people have this weird miscon, this weird notion that, you know, you don't have to work on your friendships. Like, people are so committed to trying to make things work with their significant other as opposed to their friends. Like, learn your friends. Learn their triggers. Learn what makes them happy. Learn what makes them sad, as you would do any other relationship. It's important. It's really important. It's important how you make somebody feel. Like, this is somebody who, if y'all friendship is good, they're supposed to be riding for you. And when you sit there and you do, and you operate one-sided, that's so not cool. Like, it's so wrong. And it's so hurtful.
And I speak on it because I've been through things like that. And it's just like, you know, you literally give people the benefit of the doubt. And every chance they get, they do little grimy shit. I think that's like, I think that's a sucker move. I think that that's lame. That you feel like you can't do something nice for your friend. Okay, you guys. So this is the end of the look. I hope you enjoyed our little pep talk. Um, oh, <laughs> Ow. Hey, so we've reached the end of my makeup look. Oh, I hope you guys enjoyed the little pep talk. Moral of the story is don't be afraid to have tough conversations with the people that you care about just so that you guys are on the same page because you don't ever want to have such a special day like your birthday and find out that somebody really doesn't care to, you know, celebrate you or be on the same page and care about the stuff that you care about and to be selfish selfless so um yeah just remember to to get a friend you have to be a friend well don't forget to like comment and subscribe and to tell a friend to tell a friend to come chill with me bye guys tell me what you say now tell me what you say come again if you cannot stay down 